Welcome to UpTops, and we hope you enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our future videos. Number 5 Poésie arabe, courtisane, amoureuse, du désir, du désir, et encore du désir. A Tale of Love and Desire, 2021, is a French drama film directed by Leila Bouzi. The story centers around Ahmed, a young reserved Algerian student living in the outskirts of Paris. As he begins his first year at the prestigious Sorbonne University, he encounters Farah, a bold and spirited Tunisian student. Ahmed, deeply immersed in his studies, is initially taken aback by Farah's exuberance and passion for life. As they grow closer, Ahmed finds himself increasingly drawn to her, challenging his preconceived notions about love, desire, and his own identity. The film explores the tension between cultural heritage and personal freedom, examining how traditional values can clash with contemporary life. Through their evolving relationship, a tale of love and desire offers a nuanced portrayal of young love, cultural identity, and self-discovery. The film is celebrated for its sensitive direction, rich character development, and the compelling performances of its lead actors, particularly Sami Otalbali as Ahmed and Zbiai de Belajamo as Faraha. Number 4 Je l'ai donné un vrai visage à Clara Antounès. C'est Clara. Elle a une voix très jeune. <laughs> Et ça ne vous faisait rien de savoir qu'Alex avait dans la tête une autre femme. Who You Think I Am, 2019, is a French drama film directed by Safi Nebo, starring Juliette Binoche as Claire Millard, a middle-aged woman navigating the complexities of love and identity in the digital age. The story follows Claire, a 50-year-old divorcee and professor who creates a fake Facebook profile to spy on her younger lover, Ludo. Posing as a beautiful 24-year-old named Clara, she befriends Ludo's friend, Alex, and they begin an intense online relationship. As Claire and Alex's virtual romance deepens, the lines between reality and fantasy blur, leading Claire into a web of deception that challenges her sense of self and her understanding of love. Binoche's nuanced performance captures Claire's vulnerability, loneliness, and desire for connection. Who You Think I Am explores themes of identity, desire, and the emotional pitfalls of social media, offering a poignant and thought-provoking commentary on the impact of technology on personal relationships. Number 3 La nôtre est intense, sans être excessive, et nos sentiments sont aussi pleins de tendresse que de raison. M'est-il possible de connaître ces pensées qui m'éloignent de vous? Lady J is a 2018 French period drama film directed by Emmanuel Moret. Set in 18th century France, the film revolves around the beautiful and wealthy widow Madame de la Pommeray, played by Cécile de France who falls in love with the notorious libertine Marquis de Zarsis, portrayed by Dawood Bear. When the Marquis ultimately betrays her, Madame de la Pomeraye concocts a meticulous plan for revenge. She enlists the help of a young and innocent woman, Mademoiselle de jean Ress, played by Alice Isaias, to seduce and deceive the Marquis, leading to unexpected emotional entanglements and moral complexities. Lady J, is a tale of love, betrayal, and revenge, richly depicted with lavish costumes and opulent settings. The film explores themes of manipulation, the nature of true intentions, and the consequences of vengeance, offering a captivating look at the intricacies of human relationships in a bygone era. Number 2 Pourquoi tu t'en tête Tu arriveras pas toute seule, hein Je suis là. J'aime beaucoup Paul Mallard avec tous les ennuis que j'ai, je vais pas encore en plus me coller un mec sur le dos. 
The Sense of Wonder is a 2015 French romantic drama film directed by Rick Besnard. The film follows Louise Legrand, a widowed mother of two, who is struggling to maintain her family's fruit farm in the picturesque Dr. Me region of France. One day, Louise accidentally hits Pierre, an enigmatic man with Asperger's syndrome, with her car. Pierre, played by Benjamin Leverney, brings a unique perspective and sense of wonder to the world, which contrasts sharply with Louise's pragmatic approach to life. As Louise, portrayed by Virginia Fira, opens her home to Pierre, their lives become intertwined in unexpected ways. Through Pierre's influence, Louise begins to see the world differently and finds a renewed sense of hope and joy. The film delicately balances themes of love, acceptance, and the beauty of life's small moments, offering a heartwarming and insightful look at human connection and the transformative power of kindness. Number 1 je savais déjà que c'était autour de lui que toute ma vie s'articulerait. Comment tu t'appelles Sarah. J'étais comme un moustique attiré par une ampoule. Ça Mr. and Emmy Adelman is a 2017 French romantic drama film directed by Nicolas Bidos, who also stars in the film alongside Doria Tillier. The story spans over four decades, chronicling the tumultuous and passionate relationship between Victor Adelman an acclaimed writer, and his muse, Sarah Adelman. The narrative unfolds through Sarah's perspective as she recounts their life together after Victor's death. The film delves into the complexities of their marriage, exploring themes of love, betrayal, artistic inspiration, and the sacrifices made for creative success. Their relationship is marked by intense highs and lows, reflecting the deep connection and conflicts that come with a long-term partnership. Mr. and Emmy Adelman is praised for its witty dialogue, rich character development, and the chemistry between Bidos and Tillier. The film offers a poignant and often humorous exploration of a couple's life together, making it a compelling and emotionally resonant story of love and legacy. J'ai même plus besoin de boire, c'est de la vodka, cette fille. Thora Denman. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Bonsoir.